Hey guys, today I'm going to show you something really cool. Striker asked for this, and because you asked for it, Striker, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Now, what we're going to do is take something like this, which is a schematic of a crossover, and turn it into something like this. Alright guys, stay tuned, and we're going to have that video for you. Double digit All right, guys, there's a couple things that you're going to want for this. The first thing you're going to want is the schematic of the crossover right here. Now, this is a crossover of a speaker that I'm going to be building soon, and you guys will now know how to build the schematic and the crossover before you know how to build the speakers. All right, a couple other things you're going to need. You're going to need a crossover board. Now, you can get something like this. This I got from Parts Express. All the links are in the description below, along with all the crossover parts that you need. Now, if you don't want to use something like this, you can use MDF or something else. That is completely up to you. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, before we get started on the actual crossover, let's go ahead and show you a couple things on the diagram. Now, typically when you see a crossover board, you're going to see two in and three out. Now, sometimes you see four out, but let's talk about why you'll typically see three out on a crossover board. Well, there's a couple things to look at. Where do the wires all connect? Now, if you take a look, now I've shown you a common ground. Anytime it says common ground, that means they all connect together. Now that means that all of these three points at the end will be connected together on the board and we'll have one common ground out that will split onto these two speakers. So that's a good thing. Now sometimes you will see these as actually connected together and that's fine. But you don't have to keep those separate. That's important to notice when we build the board. So any common ground, when you see the arrow on there, will be connected together on the board. Now, what else is connected together? The only other thing that's connected together at the beginning point of the amp are these two positive, which is the 8UF, the 0.38, and the 3. Now, that's a resistor, and that's an inductor, and that's a capacitor. Those are all going to be connected together. That means when the positive comes into the board, we can have all three of these connected together on the board. That's important because it helps us with layout. All right, let's go ahead and start laying it out on the board and show you what we're talking about. All right, guys, and before we start laying out all the stuff on here, make sure that this is going to fit in your final project. If this is too big, you need to cut it down to size. Cut it down to size is something that you can fit in your project, and then we'll start laying out. Now, in this case, this one will actually fit in our project, so let's go ahead and start laying it out in there. Now, to a certain degree, where we place these is going to be completely up to you, but with this inductor what I want to think about is that one of these is going to touch the 0.38 and the 3 ohm they're going to be connected together and the other is going to connect to that 12 UF so that way what I can do is I can put my resistor right here and connect it in fact I'll, I'll put it right there it doesn't matter exactly where it goes now like I said some of this is going to be completely up to you and we can put the 0.38 inductor right there there we go now we have a nice even segue. I'm going to get those kind of in the same spots since these are going to be connected together. And then we can also put this 8UF right here. And this one doesn't really matter exactly where it's at. We can even have it come in this way if we want to. And we'll kind of orient that as we go. But now, if you notice, all three of these can be connected together underneath right here and this makes our connection right here 8 UF 3 ohm and the 0.38 and if we continue looking underneath look we can now connect and solder them together and now we have our 0.38 and 3 ohm connected here now the only other thing that needs to be connected oh is this 25 ohm or I'm sorry 0.25 <laughs> Ooh. 0.25 millihertz. I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry. 0.25 millihertz. Now all three of these can be connected very easily with solder, and we have this connection. And we're still working on this. We're not quite sure exactly how we want to orient this one, but important thing is it's all connected to this positive in right here. Now you notice we haven't worked on the ground yet. That's okay. We haven't got anything that needs a ground except for this. But guess what? We have a spot for both the 3 ohm and 12 UF, and we'll show you where that's gonna go right now. 
and I think we're going to run this like this. Uh, that way we run the resistor this way. Uh, these two can still connect together just like it shows on the diagram. These two can connect together just like it shows on the diagram. If you see it says 0.2 millihernia, I'm sorry, 0.25 millihernia connected to the 12 UF, connected to 3 ohm. Now all those are connected. Now this needs to go to the ground out, but that's okay. We're still going to need to connect these two, which are going to go to the ground out as well. So let's start working on that now. Now what we're going to do, this is the 8 UF, which is right here on the diagram. It needs to connect to the point 1. All right, guys, one other thing that we're going to want to think about when we're laying this out, so we've got this figured out, are the inductors. Now, the inductors, there is something that you need to keep in mind. The inductors either need to be two inches apart, or they need to have their orientation something like this on the board. Now, that's so that they don't actually interfere with each other. So next thing we need to do is run the inductor. Now, we're going to run the inductor here. We do have two inches so that's good and if you look underneath the 8 UF which is right here and the inductor can connect which is good because they need to via the diagram now, the other side needs to connect to the common ground and guess what is right here the common ground for the 3 ohm so we can actually connect those here and we have our common grounds connected so now we have our two inductors left so we have a 4 ohm and a 1.5 ohm. We're going to take the 1.5 ohm and connect it right next to the 3 ohm. Now you may wonder why we're doing that because it does show the 4 ohm first in this. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we want to connect this to common ground. And the common ground is right here. And we can connect all our common ground together. these two together right here for the positive and then this one unfortunately is in no man's land now this needs to connect to the point one in the 8 UF which is way over here now if we tried to run just a bare wire from here to here you're gonna have problems and the reason why you're gonna have problems is because uh, anything that touches this is going to actually um, be a conductor and it's going to conduct that unless you use an insulated wire so that's what we're going to do we're going to run an insulated wire from here to here all right guys so let's kind of talk about what is going on on the board before we solder everything up all right so we have our positives coming in here all of our positives are connected from here to here so this will connect directly to the terminal whatever terminal that you're using on the back of your speaker and that will be your positive. So where's your negative in? Well, your ground in or negative in isn't on the board yet. It's going to be one of these wires that we talked about. And it's going to be connected to your common ground, which right now this is our common ground right here. This is all of this is the 0.15, this is the 3, and this is the 0.1 all connected together. And so we'll just run a wire and solder directly onto there. And we'll also run a wire directly out for a shared ground. If you wanted two grounds, one for the tweeter and one for the woofer, you would run two wires right there that would connect there. And they're just gonna be soldered on. Now, uh, where's the positives out? Okay, well, there's gonna be one positive out right, I'm sorry, connected right here between the four and the one and a half, which are connected together. That is for the tweeter. And the woofer is going to be right here, which is right next to it which is going to be where the uh, 0.25 and the 12 UF are connected. So this will go to the woofer and this one will go to the tweeter. All right, let's go ahead and solder that together and show you the final project. All right, guys, I hope you learned something. And as always, give it a thumbs up, a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see some more great content. Thanks.